Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Every year we get together to make criminal justice reform a reality from state to state all across America. We gather together to fight for fairness and compassion in our system. We fight for a criminal justice system that recognizes that people are not just the worst thing they ever did in their lives. Each year as we do this at this, at this conference, my favorite part of the conference is what we're about to do now, and that is to award one of our members or somebody out there who's joined in our fight with our Champion of Justice Award. We recognize somebody who's contributed in an extraordinary way to that good fight that you and your brothers and sisters next to you uh, engage in every single day. This year, it's our pleasure to recognize Phil Cherner uh, with our Champion Award. Phil's path is one that may be familiar to some of you. He's a longtime public defender. He was the president of the Colorado uh, criminal defense bar. He was a board member of that bar. All good stuff. All stuff that um, many of you engage in each and every day. But we're not honoring him for that type of work, although he did an excellent job. What we're honoring him for today is because he has saved lives. He has saved lives as a lawyer but he's also saved many more lives with his recent accomplishments in the state of Colorado in abolishing the death penalty. It's been a 30 year effort for Phil Turner. For 30 years, he's been trying to save those lives. He has been the linchpin in the efforts in Colorado to abolish the death penalty. And that has come to a successful accomplishment this year with the abolition of the death penalty in Colorado, along with the commutation of the death sentences of the three remaining uh, individuals on death row in Colorado. All of that is subject to the work of a lot of people, but in the middle, the glue to that entire process, to that entire result was Phil Turner. So for years, Phil has faced uh, angry politicians who oppose the abolishment of the death penalty. How did Phil respond to that? He responded like most good defenders do. He went out on the road and he spoke to victims' families and he presented victims' families' positions to the Colorado legislature. He went out and he did that hard work and he brought to the, to the Colorado legislature and to the governor of Colorado uh, the real stories, the stories of folks that continue to be harmed by the death penalty system. And for that, ladies and gentlemen, for that, that hard work is a reason why I am proud to honor Phil Turner today with the State Criminal Justice Champion of Justice Award. I wanted to talk to you just for a minute about the great work that Phil did to help us repeal the death penalty here in Colorado, because that was a many, many year effort, as I'm sure it is in all of your states as well. So let's just talk a little bit about how Phil helped this happen over the years. Phil's primary uh, asset, I think, over the years was being cheerleader to all of us. And first and foremost, being cheerleader to the attorneys who represented uh, the folks on death row and who litigated the um, death cases that never got convicted, which of course is amazing. Um, so yay to all of those folks who he garnered every year to come testify. Mary Claire Mulligan, Jim Castle, David Lane, Hollis Woodson, and many more. Along with that, he worked with our professors here in Colorado, both at Denver University and uh, Colorado um, University Law School to have them bring their, encourage their studies, have them bring their studies, testify to the legislature over the years, often multiple times. And that made a very big difference in repealing the death penalty this year. 
And of course, our lobbyists over the years. Our first lobbyist at CCDB was Maureen Kane, who many of you know, and then Carrie Thompson. And then this year in our victory year, Tristan Gorman and Danny McCarthy. Um, what Phil did this year and uh, in years previously was work with legislators behind the scenes, get the legislators any of the information that they needed to help them get their colleagues to support this bill. And what really happened this year that made a difference was our bill Senator Gonzalez and Representative Benavides helped um, helped get some of the Republican Senator and House members on board to vote for repeal, which had not happened before. And that was a huge thing. The other thing that Phil has been doing year in and year out in terms of uh, helping get this bill passed is working with um, the head of the Public Defender's Office, longtime head was uh, Doug Wilson, and our alternate defense counsel here in Colorado, Lindy Froelich, um, because those people had to come back again year after year talking about what are the costs of defending the death penalty bills and explaining to legislators how that is so very different than just a simple homicide. And it made, um, it really made the difference, especially this year. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is Phil really looked at all the different positive arguments that legislators could latch onto and be comfortable with in supporting this repeal bill. And he did this not just during the legislative slash session, but really throughout the year. So I want to say thank you so much to Phil Turner for this great victory and Cheers. Hi, I'm David Sebados, the now former executive director of Colorado's for Alternatives to the Death Penalty. Colorado would still have the death penalty if it wasn't for Phil Turner. Phil's been a lifelong advocate for repeal. After retiring as a defense attorney, he chose to spend his time working to change the system he knew was deeply flawed. CDP struggled as an organization for the past few years, but Phil was the glue that held it together. The previous uh, ED had passed away, board members had, drift, had drifted away, and there was a good chance the organization could have folded, if not for Phil. As a former defense attorney, he may not have been the most obvious choice to work with murder victim family members, but he brought together families, abolitionists, attorneys, and many others to advocate together. During Colorado's repeal efforts, Phil would often be the first one at the Capitol and the last one to leave, sitting with family members and other advocates to make sure that everyone understood the procedures and that they felt valued. I'm proud to nominate Phil for this award. He's never once sought recognition for his work, which is exactly why he deserves it. Hi, I'm Sarah Kraft from Equal Justice USA. We're a national organization working to transform the justice system. And I was so honored to work with Phil and the team in Colorado to see an end to the death penalty there. Phil and I worked together on helping center our campaign around the voices of family members of murder victims, the people most impacted by violence. Phil traveled Colorado and across the country to record and share people's stories, helping them advocate for an end to the cycles of trauma and violence that have so affected their lives. He accompanied them on a journey that often took them back to the worst moments of their lives, but his patience and understanding helped empower them to make positive change out of their tragedies. I'm so glad to have been able to nominate him for this award, having had the chance to see him in action over these last couple of years, knowing it was just the final sprint on the marathon that has been the work to end the death penalty in Colorado. Thank you, Phil, and congratulations. Well, I wanted to thank um, NACDL for this award. This is really remarkable. Uh, but the award, although it has my name on it, is really given on behalf of so many people and so many organizations that work so hard to get us here, including uh, the ACLU, Dave Sebados and CADP, uh, the folks at uh, 
CCDB, uh, the folks at Equal Justice USA, and especially um, the victim family members who were so giving of their time and allowed us to work with them to uh, achieve repeal of the death penalty here in Colorado. It's quite an honor to be the point person for that group, but honestly, um, they, uh, they contributed so much. Um, I hope that this isn't the last time somebody gets to give one of these speeches about the death penalty in as much as uh, we still have it in other jurisdictions and federally. I can only hope that people go forward and continue to work in those jurisdictions to achieve justice, uh, fairness, and racial equity across the board. Thank you.